in this anti-racism work, <clears throat> there's not a lot of us doing it that are white. It's just not. And and I've been reaching out to my white liberal activist friends, trying to get them to do more anti-racism work, and I'm not having any luck at all. Y'all never change. And I understand that uh, to a degree. You you do what you know, and I get that. But I really wanted, to, again, to reach out to you guys, not in a negative way, but I just wanted to tell you, there's not a lot of us out there doing this work. And I want to encourage you to, to incorporate it, no matter how uncomfortable it makes you feel as a white person. Incorporate anti-racism into your work in some way if you can. Because it's just there's a lot of people out there doing a lot of things, everything under the sun, except for anti-blackness, except for white supremacy, racial hierarchy, and how it works in our system and our culture. These things need to be discussed. They need to be addressed by white folks. Black folks have been talking about this shit for years and nobody gives a fuck. We need more white voices. That's why I'm reaching out to y'all. I love you guys because I see the importance of your work, what people are doing against misogyny, patriarchy, LGBTQ community, and the environment. There's so many things that are happening out there that are so important. Politics. Please incorporate anti-racism into your work. I'm begging you. To help me, there's not many of us white people out there doing that work. And you guys have all the white followers because they're comfortable with you because you never talk about race. Imagine how you could reach those people. Yeah, you might lose some white people. You will lose some of your white liberal friends. They're going to run like little white cockroaches. They run from me. But it's important. The, there are those that you will educate, though. There are those that you will reach and make a difference. But once again, I'm reaching out to my white friends and I'm asking you, please, Use those talents also for anti-racism. Incorporate it if you can. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it so that we can continue to reach white America and educate them. And, you know, it's also, i got to be honest, for, for me and for everybody that I know, every single white anti-racist that does this work like me, every single one of them had something that happened where they got to know black people and they heard black voices. That's the difference. You have to listen to black folks. You have to. You will never understand their humanity and their reality until you do. That's the biggest part of the deprogramming. If I hadn't met my, my, my good friend Roy when I was 19 years old, I would still be that same damn ignorant white boy running from hiding from race. So get exposed to black voices. Get exposed to black people. If all you got around you is white people, you're doing something wrong. Have a diversity of people around you. Learn about make some black friends, whatever you have to do. But I mean, good black friends and listen to them. And they're not required to teach you and be warned. Don't become a white savior like some of us white people do. We, we fuck up shit, but do your homework, do the work and try, come join me. I need some help. There's not enough of us out there doing it. Thank you for all you do and thank you for your time.